Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and today we will be validating a form using JSP. So, the first thing you want to do is take your template, copy it, and paste it into this page that we made earlier, and take the content of that page, put it here, and take the JavaScript of that page, and put it at the end of your head section, so right here, and just delete this all just be using our template and to guarantee that we got this correctly we're just going to choose run as on the server and we see that it has the input and the submit button so we're going to add to this uh, we're going to add an input whose type is text and the name is going to be email and we're going to add for an input for each column um, in the table we made earlier and this will be password and this type will also be password and this all needs to go in a form and put the other side of this form tag after all the inputs format it and this form is a little too low and we are going to just look at this and make sure everything looks correct and it does to me so let's save it and refresh it and something we need to do is I like to uh, format my forms using a table and put that surround all these inputs with that format and there will be a table row for each input and there will be three table data per row and we'll take that and do it four times and we'll take this input and put it in the middle of this and take this input put it in the middle of this take this input put it in the middle of this and finally take this input and put it in the middle of this and then we'll format it, get rid of this white space, and we will save it. And first we will say what each uh, field is for, email, password, birth, day, and we'll save it, come back here, refresh it, and now it, now this is the kind of form we're looking for, so that's shown, that's not shown, and we have a date picker for this. Alright, so we are going to be able to click submit, which will do a post, and we will do JSP and JSP functions that will validate. So we should get the email, which we use the request object dot get parameter, and we call the parameter by name and we will also have a password which is going to be the same thing so just take this copy it paste it and we'll also get the birthday except this will be password and this will be birthday so we'll format that and this is an error right here so I named something password twice, so this should be birthday, obviously. And we will format it again and save it. And so these are going to get the anything that was submitted with the form. Now we want to see if this is the first time the page is rendered. So we just check to see if any of these values are null. So this indicates first rendering, and if it is first rendering, we will set the email to be empty string, the password to be empty string, and, well, we don't really need to do that, um, and the birthday to be empty string. Format it, save it, and we're going to go down here and for supporting uh, persistence 
we're going to say that the value of these will be uh, percent equals um, percent greater than it will be email the variable we got and this will be value equals percent equals birthday and close the percent sign so come back up here and what we're going to do is write some functions that will validate and so validate um, email uh, public static string and these functions will return errors if there is such an error um, otherwise it will return the empty string so we have a string validate um, password public static string validate birthday and in order to validate we need to have strings to validate um, and I'll call this email take this copy it here copy it here this will be password and this will be birthday format that so uh, we're gonna have a string error we're gonna assume that there's no error and then return error at the end put that in all these format that and we look at this and try to um, not really worried about that uh, for some reason this got cut off